Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this slideshow animation is done entirely using After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just simply some riders with no background like this and also I have this logo. Again, it's completely up to you. You can use whatever type of images you want. So once you're done with this, just import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080. And frame rate 30 FPS duration, you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. So here we have our composition. Now first we are going to divide the area into different kind of panels or slides, whatever you call them. So I want a vertical one over here, a horizontal one over here and two small square slides over here so it's completely up to you can just divide it however you want so let me just quickly do that so in order to do that i'm going to just go inside the composition and double click on this shape tool so that it will create a shape now make sure that this stroke is set to zero now i'm going to select this and i'm going to search for size and i'm going to uncheck these properties so we can just simply select this and we can just lower this down to however you want and i'm going to just make it to look something like this now you can use the align panel to align it wherever you want in case you are not able to see the align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it now here we have our shape now you can play around with its x value to whatever you want so let's create it something like that perfect now we are going to use these values which we have over here let's set this to 670 for ease and now we have the shape now i'm going to select this press ctrl d and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to just place it over here and I'm going to again let's search for size and on this one I'm going to divide the y value by 2 so that we have this half portion and we can probably align it to the top now we can use the x value to just extend it so that it covers this portion something like that now you don't have to be very precise you can just do it roughly you can have a couple of these pixel out so one two five five looks good so we have this now we have aligned it to the top now i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's place it at the bottom like that now i'm going to select this again let's search for size and we want this to be half of this so i'm going to divide this by two so we have one of these over here and i'm going to align it to this side and let's select this press ctrl d and we have one of it over here and we can just align it so that it matches like that Perfect. So we have all of these four slides. Now we are going to create composition for each of them. So in order to do that, I'm going to go inside the composition. Let's create a new comp and remember this value 670 by 1080. So we are going to create a composition of this size. So 670 by 1080. Rest of the things will remain same. And I'm going to call this one slide one. Just click on OK. Perfect. Now we are going to do the same thing for this one as well. So over here we have 1255 by 540. So again, composition, new comp. Let's call this slide two. And I'm going to call this, make this 1255 by 540. Rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. And let's create one more. So let's go to the main and let's composition, new comp. And let's call this one slide three. And for this, we are going to use this value. So 6, 28 and 540. That's so things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now we have two slides of the same dimension. So I'm going to select this press Ctrl D to duplicate this. So now we have all of these slides. Now let's open them up and let's quickly add elements to them. So we have the slide one and inside this I'm going to create a new solid. So you can just simply right click new and let's add a solid. Now color you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick a little bit dark color. Something like that. Perfect. Now we can add our image as well. So you can pick whatever you want. Let's pick this one. And I'm going to just scale this down quite a bit. Something like that. Just place it however you want. Something like that. Perfect. Now this looks kind of empty. So I'm going to add a little bit of pattern behind this. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the pen tool and let's add stroke a little bit. Now you can just simply click and just start creating some of these random patterns and i don't want any kind of fill so let's click on fill and set this to none we only want stroke and i'm going to place this below our image and if you want you can probably select this and we can just increase it out now you can play around with these endpoints as well just to make them however you want 
yeah, I think this looks good. And we can probably load its stroke down to something like five. Yeah, I think this looks perfect. I'm going to select this and let's search for fill. Now it's completely up to you can pick whatever kind of color scheme you want. I'm going to pick a really nice red color. So we can probably select it over here like this. Just click on OK. So we have our shape. Now let's do the same thing with this slide two as well. So I'm going to open up slide two over here. I'm going to create a solid. So right click new and let's add a solid. And on this one, we are going to I'm going to just make it to this color, which we have over here. Just click on OK. So we have the background. Now we can select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. Let's type our name. And for the font, I'm going to use this Montserrat black font. And let's align it to the center. And also make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So in order to do that, you can select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this. Now it's in the center. So we can select this, press S to scale this down and just align it wherever you want. Now let's select this, press control D and you can just type the second text and let me just quickly place this down below and you can type whatever you want let's type this and just align it wherever you want perfect now we can probably change its color as well so let's make this like that perfect so here we have our text now let's go to the slide three and we are going to do the same thing. So right click new, let's add a solid. And this one I'm going to make this little bit off white color, something like that. Just click on okay. Now we can just select the text tool and you can type whatever you want. Perfect. So here we have our next text and let's go to the slide four. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my content and you want to support my channel, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support me, make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. And we are going to do the same thing. So right click new and let's add a solid. Just pick a really nice color. And let's click on OK. And we are going to import our logo. So let's place it over here. And on this one, let's apply fill. And I'm going to make this one white. Let's select this, press S and let's scale this down. Now we can select the ellipse tool and you can just click and drag to create a circle. Now let's align it to the center, something like that. Perfect. So we have everything set up. Now we can go back to the main composition and we don't need all of these. So we can probably select everything and let's delete them. Now we can start importing all of these layers. So let's just import them at once. So we have slide one. So this will go to this side. We have slide two and it will go to the top and the rightmost corner. We have slide three. It will go at the bottom and slide four will go to this side and at the bottom. I can play around with their positions however you want something like that so here we have our basic layout now our next step is to animate them we can probably play around with their animation so let's open up this slide one and under here i'm going to select the image let's press p for position let's add a keyframe let's just move it over here let's move it down let's select the keyframes press f9 now i'm going to go inside the graph editor if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph and I'm going to select these endpoints. Let's make it look like that. And I'm going to make this over here. Perfect. So here we have our shape coming in and we can do the same thing with this as well. So let's add a keyframe for position. Let's add it over here. And in the beginning, I'm going to just place it like that. Now select everything, press F9. Let's go to the graph and we are going to change the graph to the same, which we have with the image, something like that. Maybe we can just place it over here and we can just move it a little bit more up and we can make it like that. Perfect. So here we have our image and we have our shape. Now we can do one more thing. We can add some animation to this as well. So press S and let's uncheck these values. So I'm going to add a keyframe and in the beginning, I'm going to just scale this down. So I don't want it to scale from the center. I want it to scale from the bottom and in order in order to do that, just select this layer, select the pan anchor tool. Now you can hold on the control key and click and drag this anchor point and it will snap to the bottom. Now we can just set the Y value to zero like this. Now again, select the keyframes, press F9 
and I'm going to change the graph to this. So here we have everything. Now I don't want any of these layers visible in the beginning. So I'm going to just simply select them and I'm going to change the attract mat to this. Now, in case you are using the older versions of After Effects, then you won't have these drop downs. Instead, you will have alpha matte, alpha inverted. So you can just uh, update it to the newer versions because it's much more easier and efficient doing this way. Otherwise, you will have to create a separate layer duplicate of it and just place it on top of this layer. And after that, you have to change their track mat to alpha matte and it will have a bunch of different layers. So I'm going to prefer this method. So here we have our first slide. And we're going to do the same thing with others as well. So let's go to the slide two. And over here, I'm going to select this. Let's move its anchor point to this side like that. And I'm going to press S. Let's add a keyframe. This is going to be a final one. So let's move it over here. And in the beginning, I'm going to just set this to zero. Perfect. Let's select these. Press P for position. Let's add keyframes. Let's move it over here. Here uh, in the beginning, I'm going to just move it like that. Now we can select the keyframes, press F9. And let's change this to like that. For this one, we can do this like this. Perfect. So now if I play back, we have this and we can probably delay this out and we can have a little bit of delay between these two text as well like that now again we don't want this these to be visible in the beginning so i'm going to just simply select them and we can just pick whip and just select this now make sure to enable this layer as well so here you can see we have this perfect let's go to the slide three and i'm going to do the same kind of thing so let's select the endpoint and i want this to come from the top so press s let's add a keyframe move this to the ahead and set the value to zero and let's select this press f9 and I'm going to just move it like that. Perfect. Now for the text, I'm going to again select this, press P. And let's do the same thing. One. Let's just quickly track mat and make sure to enable this layer as well so that both of these are visible like this. Let's do the same thing with over here as well. Let's select this and I'm going to move it to this side. Let's press S, let's add a keyframe. So we are done with this animation as well. Now if I go back to the main composition, now if I play back, you can see that we have all of these slides coming in. Now we can tweak this further. So we can just have a little bit of delay to a couple of these slides, something like that. So here you can see we have some really nice animation. Now I don't want these to be stay still and so we can add bunch of different animations inside them so let's go to the slide 2 and once we have everything up i am going to quickly change its color so i'm going to select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate this or we can select everything press ctrl d and let's move them to the top and i'm going to just place it over here now i don't want any kind of position animation so let's select them press p and i'm going to just uncheck them let's select this and let's press s and i don't want the animation like this Instead, I'm going to move the anchor point to the top like that and we can have a keyframe over here and in the beginning, I'm going to just slow down its Y value to zero. That's all things will remain same. So just tweak with the graph. Perfect. Now I'm going to change its color as well. So let's select this and let's drag the fill and I'm going to make this one white. So we are going to change the color of the text as well. So let's select this and this top one and I'm going to make this red. So let's select this and I'm going to change this to red. Like that. Now I don't want the transition to be this harsh so we can select all of these and again just change the track mat to this layer and make sure to enable this one as well. Now we can just extend them. Perfect. So here we have our transition like this and we can do the same thing with other slides as well so let's go to the slide 3 and once we have this i'm going to select everything press ctrl d and let's place it over here again we don't need any kind of animation for the position so just remove this and we have this let's move its anchor point over here let's add a scale keyframe so we already have it and I'm going to animate its X value. So I'm going to set this to zero. 
let's select everything press f9 let's go inside and just change the curves to like like to look like that and again we can change this color so let's drag the fill and i'm going to just make it to this red which we have over here perfect now i'm going to select this one so we already have this and i'm gonna leave it like that perfect let's go to the slide 4 and let's change colors over here perfect so here we have our transition so we have this and after that it changes its color something like that so now if i play back you can see we have our elements coming in and after that they start changing their color and in the same way you can just keep on going and you can just keep on adding different kind of transitions like this with different colors and you will have your slideshow the best thing is that you can use it to reveal any kind of thing you want you can have different images you can have different text fonts different logos whatever you want so this is how you can create these kind of slideshows and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one